for some odd reason, on certain occasions, when XCOM 2, when XCOM 2 crashes, it, uh, it goes straight to, like, completely freezing my PC, where I have to, well, not freezing to where I can't do anything, but freezing to the point to where I have to do a nice, good old PC reset. Roll out the delete, reset PC, go from there. Well, as you can see, I decided to switch to Remnant from the Ashes because I know this game is somewhat more stable and I'm just, I'm pissed off at XCOM right now. I could probably try and play it again, but uh, we're going here. Um, Now I will do preface this by saying over the weekend, I did go to join game. I browsed public games and I joined people that were at the city, right? Uh, a lot of people at the city, right? And this is where I went. Um, I fought some bosses I never fought before, and I came across some people doing some things I never came, like, never saw them do before, and I got some new armor as a result. And I got some new weapons and boss gear as a result as well. Um, I don't know what the story is, luckily. But I do know what some of those bosses look like. So unfortunately, those reactions aren't quite gonna be what they were. Like, they're not gonna be exactly blind. I will say doing it solo is gonna be very different from what I was doing. Now I need to remember what controls to press for this game. How you doing, kid? I actually want to talk to you. Ah, good to see you. Ah. I can't upgrade because I don't have enough iron right now. Iron. But yeah, we got the Leto's armor set, which is really heavy. Also a twisted mask. We're talking to some merchant dude. But yeah, I got this smolder, which is from a a boss later down the line. So long. Uh, let's check our inventory really quickly. Yeah, I was upgrading the rifle as well. The pocket watch I actually got. By talking to the old man in the thing. Can I put two pillars of stone on? No, I can't. Did get a couple of traits too. Have no idea. Oh, status duration increases. Climber. Also have five trade points. Nice, I like that. All right. I know we go to her. I'm not in the mood for Chad. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Because she crafts. 
crafts boss weapons, apparently. This is a flamethrower. I'm tempted to get this. What does this cost? Six fifty. Yeah, screw it. I'll I'll get it. And then get the aura as well. Yeah, good. Now go. Keep moving. Flicker cloak. Magic shield absorbs 60% of their max health and damage from incoming attacks. Then stagger lasts 15 seconds with a 10 second cooldown. That's pretty freaking good. We'll keep how the setup we got going right now. I do like this this current gear setup that I got. I'm not in the mood for chat. But yeah, I did not intend, I did not realize how much further you could go in the city. But I do know how to fight certain enemies now, so hopefully I won't completely embarrass myself on stream. Ah, <sighs> regardless, let's continue. Should take me straight to the last checkpoint I was at. I need to just double check something really quickly to make sure this is right. It should be right because I'm. I recognize this from yes, uh, from not yesterday, yeah, from the weekend. But I have no idea if this is. Yeah, this is right. Okay, good. Ooh, piece of candy. Yeah, because we fought dude. We talked to dude in the uh, heli helicopter. Or what, what did he call it? Helicopter? He said it a weird way. We got the pocket watch for it. We came down here. Thermal geode. Fire that burned the world could not burn everything. What's left is strength, power, and death. We rested here, then we ended stream uh, Friday. This looks familiar. Please. I don't want to get lost. Because of the over the weekend when I was just helping randos out. <gasps> This darkness is absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Always check your back because these things like to spawn in behind you and take you out or try to take you out I should say oh 
emulators, or emulators, whatever they're called. The bastards like to burst into flame. Those guys like to stun you for a certain amount of time. But yeah, this place isn't exactly as familiar as I thought it was. I mean, I know, I kind of know what I'm getting into. And Maybe? Those guys suck, by the way. I'm gonna get my shotgun out because I feel safer with this than the SMG. Some iron and some scrap, we always love to see it. kill for those guys but whatever I should probably heal yeah that would be a good idea And this is basically going back in a circle. But we always want to check the corners to make sure we didn't miss anything like that. Because exploration gets rewarded. ambiance and like background noise as we progress this sounds very important in this game it's like that kind of situation where you hear something behind you you know something's behind you trade. Oh shit, you. Alright, yeah, some of this is starting to get more familiar like that, dude. That dude is definitely familiar.
Another piece of iron. Scrap. Love to see it. My apologies if I start getting a little bit more quieter and get into focus mode with this game, but it's fun to just literally chill and go through and play it. It, it gives me vibes, like I said, of like those Dark Soul vibes, the Bloodborne vibes, stuff like that. It's very aggressive. The game is very aggressive, and I love games like this that are aggressive. That reward you for just charging in like a banshee and blasting away with a shotgun or an assault rifle or what have you. Home of knowledge over there. Oh no, Mother's Ring. What is that? I'll take that. Incoming range damage by 20%. Nice. It's a pretty good item to get. Definitely gonna have to switch melee weapons and just just to mess around and learn new melee weapons That was a little bit more intense than I anticipated. But well, we got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. But yeah, I was uh, doing a little bit of a. Yeah, over the weekend, like I said, I was just... What I thought was doing was assisting some people with certain areas. I had no idea how big the places of this game actually were until I was doing just random runs with random people. And then I got in a group where the two people had to be talking to one another. And then they just allowed random to join, i.e. me. And they were basically just running through the entirety of the area, avoiding certain situations, coming across certain things. And just I was like, just in for the ride. Taught me a couple things too. I'm not going to spoil exactly what they are. But they did a great job on the creepiness in this game. Like, even though I'm pretty confident in my abilities and I think I can take on the enemies, I'm just like. This air of nervousness permeates around me. So that refreshed all the enemies so we could do a little bit of a, a grind, but I want to keep exploring that area that we were just in. I don't know. I think if there's anything else to explore, though, that's the thing. Could try and drop down there later and check what's up. But yeah, there's nothing else in here. I 
I guess not. Yeah, nothing else in here. Hello. Goodbye. Let's check down the stairs over here. See what we come across. Okay, so this... Makes it to where we don't need to jump down. Ooh. There's the Tome of Knowledge. Waiting for a thing to pop up from out of the water. Alright, so all that was down there was a Tome of Knowledge. Not that that's bad. Tomes of Knowledge are great. Free experience. Actually, free level up is what that is. Fairly dark, unfortunately. Probably up the brightness a little bit. Might do that, actually. Vibration, okay. Just do 60 brightness. Motion blur off. Alright, that's a little better. Get a good look at our face. Don't think we should drop down there just quite yet. That's probably the shortcut after a boss fight or something like that. Hello there, creepy McCreepy. So you guys have to be taken out from range, got it. So good. Probably could have did some anti-aggro stuff with the uh, shotgun thing right here. Might be better for me overall. Did 
bitch. Trying to think of what I want. This, probably. I like this. But that might be useful for another situation. Heals are... We'll go for the heals now. Apparently we can also store it up. I want to, I want to learn all the weapon mods that I get. Trying to use melee for the time being. This is a nice big area for combat. See what I mean? What I said about uh melee. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down. A lot of big guys in this area. I wasn't really anticipating that. But you know what, that's A-OK. -okay. trades there, buddy. This is just me getting ammo, basically. He 
You bastard! Those guys are summoners. It's over. Apparently. Good to keep that in mind for the future. Again, such a creepy atmosphere. They did such a good job with this. The colors. The, the ambient music in the background. Uh, we'll get to the next break point and I'll take a long break because need to use the restroom and stretch eh. I mean I don't need to actually now I'm thinking about it I can go I can go just as long as I need to I haven't having too much of a good time to pause here. I want to see if I can get to the next boss in this area and go from there. Kin collars, Bill. Interesting. That's a boss fight. At least I would assume it's a boss fight. The heals are nice, but I really want to see what the shield can do. That's a uh, hard travel point, isn't it? Yeah, the big ones are hard travel points, I believe. They allow you to uh, go to places like the fast travel to places, the small camps aren't like that. At least that's what I'm assuming. I wonder if I could... How well this combos to with each other. Okay, never mind. This has got to be a boss. There's no way that this is not a boss. So, another seeks the roots council. Closer. to shore we see all things we are the root mother a vessel of wisdom through which the root speaks what is it you seek how do i get through the storm around the atoll the storm. Shield. The cloak that conceals the inevitable end. Has the hour come? Yes. Clearer it becomes. You seek to. 
to end the route, but the path is hidden. This vessel knows the road you seek. Help we must, but not where ears can hear. They will come for us when bonds we break. Will you protect? Will you trust? I have questions first. Ask, but I cannot answer what they must not know. Not while burrowed within their boughs. We know how to find the path you seek, but they must not hear. Protect us, you must, or nothing will be learnt. Who are you? This vessel, once a child, now a watcher, awaiting the end of a beginning, a prophecy. You. I will protect you. Do what you have to do. Will not release this vessel without consequence. Yes, this is going to be her life. You must defend us. Sacrificing. All right. Two minutes. Probably should not be using ammo right now. Now that I'm thinking about it. Well, I'm not going to say this isn't too bad right now. Oh, that's a dick move. So we need anti-aggro. The shield's not gonna do... Okay. Yeah, anti-aggro. So I didn't make it to this point. Apparently I was further ahead than even this. I can get that shit later. Try it again.
Fuck off. Damn it. I need to do that at like 40 seconds. I need to pop that. That's a mistake. I gotta go back anyways now. Okay, I might actually have to use my ammo box. I knew it. As soon as I thought it too, I'm like, this isn't this is too easy this early. At least this stuff stacks up. That was dumb. Why would I charge it like that? The range though. The range leaves much to be desired. What happens now? I have learned much from the root. I will aid you. We will fight it. To Maybe I can ask her later about first. the commander. Commander. I must rest. Look there. The wall. There is a path beyond. Find the path. Then seek me out among your... Our kind. In the place you call the war. We shall meet again. What a badass. I thought she was gonna die or something. Tell us how to go, go and then we'll die. Speak again soon. Well, there's blessing. We'll have to check out what that trait does. That last bit started to get a little crazy. Ooh, four. Twenty six. Oh, uh, X to read. Twenty <clears throat> sixth March, nineteen seventy three. The dreams are getting worse. Last night, I was hunting this family in the woods outside town. I could smell the tang of their fear. I liked it. I craved it. It made me run faster. 
giving me a rush of pleasure as I jumped them, plunging my claws into their sucking chests. I woke up screaming. I wish I could say they were screams of terror. I'm not sure. My screams woke the others. Little Nadine cried. Andrew asked what was wrong. I told him Nadine had a bad dream. That was what woke us. I tell Andrew. I'll tell Andrew. I will. I just need time to process this. Wait a minute. Fourteenth February, nineteen seventy-four. Dreamed again. Pack of scavengers north of the highway. Their lookout took a break, and we killed them in their sleep. I witnessed the slaughter from a dozen angles at once. Didn't scream this time, but woke in tears. Not entirely sure my tears, but for the scavengers. First November, nineteen seventy-four. Had a dream I was hunted last night. They tricked us. Baited us like animals, but I saw it first. I directed two of us toward the bait, while the rest held back in the shadows. They thought we sprung their trap, but they sprung ours. With each of their deaths, blissful heat surged through my body over and over again, continuing even after I woke. I wasn't just watching this time, not just feeling what they felt. I communicated. I helped them. I did it. And it felt good. 3rd May. 1975, found a clutch of humans hiding out in the hospital. They weren't ready. Their screams tasted like honey. Murdered every last one of them before the bastards could even reach their weapons. Oh god, what the hell is happening to me? 1st of January, 1976, rereading these entries. Scared of myself, of what I'm feeling, of what I'm wanting. Nadine's learning to read now. Gotta keep the journal locked away. Can't have her or anyone stumbling on it. 15th December, 1988. Had a new dream, not like the others. I crawled out of the ground, lifting myself up until I was ten stories high. The human weapons couldn't do more than tickle me. I smashed their buildings to rubble with them inside. It's real. I know it. We've never seen anything like this, and I think it knows about us, about me. It's coming this way. 16th of December, 1988. I told Andrew about the thing in my dream. Sure, it's not real, but he doesn't know. I haven't told him most of my other dreams, how they felt. He can't know. He won't trust me, but... Monster has killed dozens, hundreds of people somewhere up north, and it's on its way here. I have to do something. 23rd of December 1988, a stream of refugees came into the city today spouting stories of a tower and behemoth that leveled entire buildings. Andrew and I shot a look, fear blatant in his eyes. He grilled me on my dream then. How big was the monster? Does it have any weaknesses? How long before it gets here? I wish I had more answers for him. I only really know one thing. Can't beat it. Not with anything we have. 24th of December, 1988. I've been thinking, what if I could get in their heads? I mean, on purpose. The Root knows about Ward 13 the same way I know about them. My dreams connect us, both ways. What if I can use that? What if I can fool them, hide Ward 13, or convince them it's abandoned? Uh, but there's so much I don't know about this connection. I've never used it except when I'm asleep. How do I do this? 25th of December, 1988. More refugees. The behemoth is getting closer. If these survivors are to be believed, it'll be here within a fortnight. Merry Christmas, I guess. Or I gotta die. Unless I can figure something out. 27th of December, 1988. It worked. God help me, it worked. That's a weird beat, man. I don't know if you guys hear that or what, but that, that beat, man. We fought off some root today, and I found myself alone with a root devil bearing down on me. I could feel what it felt, its rage, its desire to end me, but I could feel it. Then it could feel me, right? So I reached out to it, in my mind, tried to shove my emotions onto it, my love for Andrew and Nadine, our need to survive. And the devil hesitated. And I didn't just feel that one devil, I felt all of the root, a million minds thinking as one. I could hear them, speak to them if I wanted. And someone came over the ridge and blasted the devil to splinter. But it worked. I can do this. I can save Ward 13. 28th of December, 1988. Andrew wasn't crazy about the idea. He still thinks we can fight the behemoth, but he wasn't in the root's head. He didn't see it. We can't beat it alone. 2nd January, 1989. We're running out of time. Look out, saw the behemoth outside the city. It's worse than I even I have thought. My dreams are getting worse, too. It knows me now. It tries to talk to me. Calling me. Andrew Wood doesn't want to talk about it. Not the dreams, not my plan, nothing. Makes him angry. But I know I can save them. We'll die if I do nothing. 5th of January, 1985. 
1989. It's in the city. It's coming right for us. We're going to the old church. The roots thick up there. I gotta go before Andrew wakes up or he'll stop me. Andrew and Nadine, if you ever read this, I hope you understand how much I love you. As crazy as I've been these years, seeing the root, feeling them. I'm still and always Evelyn Cedar Ford, your wife, your mother, and a founder of Ward 13. I will do anything if it means you'll live. They have to be stopped. Nothing else matters, even if I have to become one of them. It'll work. I caught it. I fucking called it. The root mother was her. It'll work. I know it will. I can hide the ward from them, push them some other way, confuse them. But I don't know what'll happen to me. I guess if you're reading this, then it worked. You're alive. It will all have been worth it. Love you, Nadine. I love you, Andrew. And I'm sorry. Now this is an interesting story. I hope I can ask about the commander, dude. I hope I can ask about Andrew. And this is why you always explore, because look at this shit. Ammo box, I could have used one of those up there. Uh, uh, blood wart. And a chest. A sniper rifle? A fucking sniper rifle. Plus two sniper rifle. Are you shitting me? Powerful single shot rifle which allows the wielder to pick off targets from long range with incredible accuracy with a 4x scope. Double tap and hold RMB. Zoom in with the scope. Once they find you, it'll be no better than a toothpick. That's awesome. So you gotta double tap like that. Some bandages. A lot more scrap and iron. an old woman invest. All right, Evelyn. You have a lot of splendor due to your daughter. Or granddaughter? I don't know. Granddaughter. Rumor's mana. The earth was once walled off. Not by guardians, but by a power deeper and stronger than the root. Okay. Now we're at the familiar stop. Like, I know this spot. Let's play with our... Actually, hold on. That was the wrong button.
I like. I definitely like the sniper rifle. But yeah, this this area can get pretty hectic. Good practice. It seems like it's a hit scan weapon, the sniper. Missed. Ah, then I missed. Yeah, this is the time where we start getting anti-root bastards. Like, not anti-root bastards, um, ranged bastards. Stay down. I do love how it's just long gun ammo. It's not like... Sniper rifle ammo, anything like that. It's just long gun. Pistol and long gun. Above me. So we don't need to use our weapon for this Like we can just do it Oh no, I do need to charge it Never mind These guys are pretty annoying I still need stuff up here. Well, not stuff up here, but to find people up here is what I'm trying to get at. I do like this sniper rifle though. 
pretty damn accurate when you're not aiming down sides. Whoops, misclick. I'm um, full on pistol ammo, it looks like. I love, I love just exploring. Oh yeah, okay. Now I'm in familiar territory, by the way. Not too familiar, mind you. Just familiar enough to where I got a general idea of where I'm headed. I did see an area where it looked like I could crouch down to get into there, but I need to find it again. It was when the combat first started up. I do love how much scrap and iron I'm getting from just destroying like hunks of like wood or what have you. Yeah, over here I was looking. Oh no. Never mind. There we go. There's some loot. How easy it is to get iron. Iron. And scrap. So easy. This is a big one. That was unnecessary, but it felt it made me feel better. I do think I like the fire on the SMG better. I think this is a good combo right here. I wonder, is there a way to... No, there's not. To check the first and second floors. I wish there was a way to check first and second floors on the map. Some kind of gun. Don't know what it is yet, but it's some kind of like... <laughs> Definitely shouldn't be trying to trade with these bastards. That's for sure.
Yeah, I will say I remember when I was doing the one group thing they basically just ran through this entire area I'm the type of person that likes to take things slow and just explore though so That's not what I wanted to do Shift got it left shift I love this being able to pop a couple from a mile away not that we're a mile away but you get the general gist of what I'm saying we only got 11 rounds left 11 more kills basically That's not what I wanted to fucking do. Whoops. Uh, a little bit of a waste. Like I said, surprisingly big map. There's a little bit of asset reuse, just a little bit. <clears throat> but that's fine with me. Yeah, it's definitely hit scan. Oh, you stopped running. There's a building over there that I haven't checked out that I'm gonna have to Since we're a little bit more close range, I'll switch back to the SMG Might be a good idea to switch back to our pistol as well The sniper rifle, I definitely can see myself using some of these uh, ammo boxes that I got. Seems like they have a hundred health. More than okay with that, though. They seem relatively simple to drop. Need to check this alleyway, of course. That's probably a, a reset, a map reset. And there'll probably be different loot back there. Or there'll be loot at all back there. <clears throat> loot at all back there, I should say. Nice voice crack, by the way. Sounds like a big dude.
Oh, I'm pissed about that. Not gonna lie, I'm pissed about that. Oh, you've gotta be shitting me. I definitely see why they ran through this area. I need to go that way even? Not really, kinda. Whatever. I mean, I saw that. I do love how the enemies spawn differently every time. It's not like a Dark Souls style thing where when you die, they spawn the exact same way every single time. Um, what do we want for traits? Range damage reduction. I don't want quick hands. 5% reload speed. Uh, experience. Get some more experience as well. Make our level ups go quicker. I can't wait until I find a trait or whatever for looting. Definitely could do with some exploring. 
Also, those guys are like summoners too, you know? They throw rot, root rot at you and... Summons a thing. What is Aggressor's Bane? That's actually kind of good for a big meaty tank. That'll be great for when I do like offline squad stuff or whatever, group stuff with randoms. I'll put that on and be like, yo. Looks like there's a zone right here. I haven't explored this entire area yet. But if I'm not mistaken... I don't know. It feels like I went the other way. Like I went back that way with the other individuals that I... Again, it could be a weird map thing. Because the way they do the map in this game is like... When you redo a, a thing, you get a different map every time. Like, some things will generally be the same, but certain, like... There'll be an area where new loot will spawn. Well, in one game, no loot will spawn. Like, some people would have never found that sniper rifle. But the game that I've spawned you get the sniper rifle. I'm not going down there quite yet. I want to finish exploring this area before we do. I can Q heal. I want to check this area out a little bit. There's a heavy dude somewhere with a... Greetings and good day. Jaster, how are you today? Sniper rifle always there. Alright, just... Hey. That's good to know. I do like the sniper rifle. This is awesome. This is one of my favorite weapons so far. But yeah, that is good to know. Is the sniper rifle that you find always plus two? Where? the big guy I was looking for. How did you not catch on fire, buddy? There you go. Gotcha.
we go. It's over. Also, I figured out how to turn the helmet off in the options menu. I figured it would be a good combo to have the heels on the sniper rifle considering, you know, when you're using a sniper rifle, you're primarily not really moving. Then again, this is like combat sniper rifle. I can't even off the top of my head, I cannot name a sniper rifle that has that kind of accuracy without actually aiming down the sights. You didn't know what was a thing. <clears throat> ah, the helmet option. I'll actually show you. It's in, um, gameplay. Show a helmet. I turned it off. So I still have the helmet on, obviously, but I also turned camera bob off because that and motion blur. Camera bob, motion blur, I always turn those off because having your camera do that shit, it'll make, it'll give me a headache. So did we explore this whole area so far? Sort of. I do, I do know, like, I don't know if you were here earlier, uh, but I do know a little bit about where I'm headed towards. Like the evil tree here i know about the evil tree this is the first time i've seen somebody go at the evil tree this way though this should be allowing us to open a shortcut no it's the opposite way the shortcut's the opposite way i do have the twisted mask the only reason i have the twisted mask not gonna lie is because I was doing some off stream stuff I went into some random person's game and they were like sprinting like they were like almost like they were practicing speed running it right with a buddy of theirs and they were in some facility going in some like chamber that was teleporting them to random spots and they kept going in there and me and the buddy kept fighting groups of uh enemies and stuff like that it was kind of crazy not gonna lie I actually wanted to go over here. You get different stuff from the tree. Well, I know you can get a trait, a, 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 a something bark trait that'll allow you to get just a general reduction of damage, I think. And it also drops a ring, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I was looking stuff up on it too uh not gonna lie i fought several different bosses i fought a boss that cloned themselves after they took a certain number of like a certain amount of damage the one boss turned into two and then into four that was an annoying boss that was a very annoying boss um i fought a dragon More than eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Uh. Oh, you're talking about the chamber thing? More than eight, then sixteen, then thirty-two. Yeah, that sounds about right. The split boss. Oh. Oh, yeah. Leto's lab. Or Letho's lab. 
Yep, research station alpha. This is that place. That's not gonna work. Yeah. I do have the Leto armor. Funnily enough. I want to do the chamber thing again, though. Because I want to see how difficult it is to do by myself. Well, that's... Apparently, I need to go... You can kill the enemies before you trigger the alarm. So, like that. Nice. Thank you for that cool tip. There's a key card. Probably need to activate the power before we can do the key card, though. God, the way they did the atmosphere in this game is so good. Could be wrong though. They're super well hidden. They are pretty, pretty well stashed. I'm probably gonna end up fighting them. I know there's probably some up here though. I would bet money there's some up there. So this will probably set the alarm off, I would bet. Alright, yeah, I was right about the power. Question is... I would go down here for power. Yeah. Well. Run system test. Everything passed so far. Awesome. Flush coolant. Bye. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Or no, that doesn't sound right. Or feel right, I mean. Yeah, that wasn't right. Didn't feel right. Probably a good idea to switch weapons to a shotgun, honestly.
Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. That all it does is bypass the lock or whatever. And then it allows me to go to the other computers, I bet. They are well hidden. How's that, you bastard? I saw a big dude. Ah, emulator. Or emulator, whatever they're called. Middle room. Yeah, the room over there. Splitting boss, yep. Because I see those guys, they look like splitting people. Oh, the power's not there. Like those guys, they look like the splitters. There we go. God, I'm gonna get fucking slammed with by something while I'm reading. Log, November 5th, 15th, 1967. At lunch yesterday, Leto. Is it Leto? Letho? Letho. We'll just say Letho. Leto. Whatever. L told me his theory about the crystals. He took a piece of paper, folded it in half, then poked a hole through it with a pencil. He said the paper was our universe and that the hole was the crystals, or maybe the pencil was the crystals, I don't remember. Uh, drama aside, what he was proposing was earth shattering. We have been studying the crystals as a source of near infinite energy, but if what he said is true, then the crystals are endpoints for a massive network of Einstein Rosen bridges. A way to travel through space time in the blink of an eye. Astounding. March 20th. 1968 we just got word from ward 16 that they were able to activate one of the crystals the key was harmonics i should have thought of that l has been on site at ward 16 for the past week studying the crystal he is supposed to be analyzing the power signature given off by the crystals but he seems more concerned with proving his wormhole theory he can be stubborn when he thinks he's right i just hope he gathers enough data so i can further my research into the power potential of the crystals Leto. Leto? Yeah. 
Vito, like Nito. April 7th, 1968. Vito was right, as usual. He had a hunch and it paid off. He used the single... He used the signal noise given off by one of the dreamers in Void 16 to alter the harmonic frequency used to activate the crystal. I still can't believe it. My mind is reeling from the possibilities. The crystal is an honest-to-God Einstein Rosenbridge. Void 16 is already planning an expedition through the crystal. Gotta love when people are like, hey, we don't know what the fuck this is, but we're gonna go through it. June 9th, file corrupted. June 20th, 1968, file corrupted. I always hate that, seeing those files corrupted. System diagnostics. I always like checking those, I don't know why. I should always check those first. I'm just silly like that. That was a mistake and a half. These things are annoying in this... No, no, no. Damn it, you bastard bitch. Are you not over here? Oh, uh, what a waste of fire. Oh, that's shame and half. Wait. Okay, good. I was about to say. That didn't help me as much as I wanted it to. Yeah, that's right, we got the flamethrower from the dragon boss. We got a dragon heart. I fought the dragon boss twice. I got the sword and that from it. Oh, it's an SMG that's way better than this one. Eh, we can upgrade it later. We'll keep the SMG, I think. The shotgun... That didn't help me. That should help me. Let's rest. Let's go at it again. I would assume I need to go back and do the anti-power thing again, or am I wrong? I'm wrong, okay. It kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping to fight uh, that, that group again. He's a summoner. The summoners suck. I always hate summoners, at least in this game. You have a chance to drop, like, the summoners have a chance to drop loot, though. At least they're not like other games where if you fight a summoner and you kill off the randos, you don't gotta worry about, uh... Like, normally when a summoner summons enemies, you kill the enemies, you don't get any goodies. In this one, it seems like you do, is what I was trying to say. Nice, got some iron from that one, too. There's another computer, right? I'm 
trying to remember where that other computer was. My question is... I mean, we can enable the bypass again, but I don't think we need to do that. Yeah, whatever. Let's just continue on forward. Oh, because the other computer... No. We activate the power, go to that computer. Yeah, okay, never mind. That was the other computer. Kind of funny because I think I'm going in at like I'm going into the research lab the quote-unquote right way and there's another way to get into here like there's many different ways to get into this now what this lab Do is exactly what I thought it would. Big guys suck. That feels like a waste of a shell. Eh, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. It's over. I need to, I have many ammo boxes that I could utilize. Yeah, no, the, the way to get up there is I actually have to... Go through that thing a hundred times. The crystal is here in station. It's about time. I never thought it would get here. Not with all the problems the company has had during transition. Transit. There's a rumor going around that the thing is cursed. I can't blame them, I guess. They've had a rough time with that thing. All the accidents. All the deaths. Twelve miners killed at the excavation site in Malta. A freak explosion at the drilling rig. Reynolds was there when an electrical surge killed four engineers on the Elysia, Maine. And it was crossing the Atlantic with its precious cargo. And there was the incident at the Ogden facility. Full containment breach of the radiation protocols killed 78 technicians and caused the company to scuttle the facility. We lost the second crystal that day, buried underneath 3,000 tons of concrete and lead. I'm not a superstitious man, but it's been months now and we are no closer to a solution. Director Apostoloskis has been recording the situ simulation without rest for two weeks now. Not sure how he does it, not sure I'd want to know. Barbara tells me that if anyone can find the answer, it would be the director. Well, I guess it's quaint that she has that kind of faith in the director. Me? I'm not so sure he's as brilliant as Barbara thinks he is. It's been quite, the situ uh, it's been quiet in the station for the past week. Director Apple and the... And a... Cade Card of researchers have been in, at Ward 16 for nearly a week now. 
again, the rumor mill is in full force. A couple of the researchers have been have returned to the station, and they went straight to work on a new simulation parameters. I heard talk of I I heard talk of Einstein frozen bridges. Poked around to find out what that meant. A hole in space time? We told the crystal was a source of zero point energy. I don't like the sound of this. I think we are tampering with powers that are best left alone. Too late to get a transfer. Damn. I haven't spoken to Barbara for a few days now. I caught a glimpse of her walking with the director, Leto, yesterday. He looked excited, frightened. I couldn't get close enough to get a word in. I managed to get a peek at some of the new simulation data being spit out at SRG. Quantum replication? Quantum replication. What the hell is going on here? I've read a few pages... Uh, papers on quantum physics, but whatever they are working on is way beyond my pay grade. The damned world is ending, and they're in there screwing around on the, their equipment like nothing is wrong. They say we are safe here, but I listen to the radio before the signals cut out. We aren't safe anywhere. Matter of time. I'm going to die here. Vito is the goddamn Grim Reaper. First Ogden, then Ward 16, now us. Everywhere he goes, death follows. And I looked and beheld a pale horse, and he who sat on him was death and hell followed afterward. If Leto hadn't activated the crystals. The facility is overrun. I don't know where they came from. They're multiplying so fast the security team can't contain them. Damn Leto and his damned experiments. We are being evacuated. My section is next in the queue, but I can't find Barbara. Leto says there's another way out of the base, using his device no less. He says we just need to be patient. Through him, this is his fault. Getting the hell out of here. I'm getting the hell out as soon as I can, but I have to find Barbara. That was a butcher of a couple of sentences there. I know we have to get that. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to get that crystal. I just don't know how many times it takes in that damn device to do it. I know we got to open the door using the device. Those chamber controls initialize. I know it was disabled, I think. No idea what's about to happen. Seems pretty lucky. That was like very RNG, I think. Get it within 10. Upwards of 40 times before you get the secret room. Uh, question. What was that? Was that the. Did I just. Was there a secret room up there? Did I fuck up? There's a secret room, you say. The door, I know that's the entrance. I know the secret room is the door. Platform is a secret spot, the algorithm gets you through the door. So would I initialize the algorithm now to try and get to this door? Just for that luminite crystal or simulacrum if it spawns up there. Algorithm for main door. Okay. A 
Well, let's do the algorithm really quickly then. Get the main door done. There's a body partly stuck in a wall. That sounds familiar. What's what's the eager, Easter egg in reference to? Body stuck in a wall. Yeah, that's to go to the boss area. I remember that. the hell am I? Oh, damn. Really? That's a little annoying. I know enemies spawn after a certain number of tries. Looks like he's not the only one. Either more than one person tried to go through at the same time. Well, that sucks. Wait. Wow. All right. That was pretty damn lucky. I am assuming that's everything we need. There's no other secret rooms I need. I can just progress from here. Not that you're aware of. All right. How many, how many attempts was that? 15? Less? Uh, 
next? Oh shit. Here we go. High pass music. Stay down. Oh, that wasn't too rough. Normally I hear that music, I'm expecting big guys, 15 or less. Nice. Pretty lucky. Harness ring. What? Harnessed idol. No, twisted idol. That's from the tree. Armor effectiveness by 30. Encumbrance by 15. Harnessed ring? Or... Whoa. Oh, my light in the dark. This ring looks worn, but well loved. Polish from constant wear. Okay, it's a quest item. Nice. That confused me for a moment. Give it to the old Reggie? Reginald? I will give it to Reginald. Ah, too late on the space. Nice. Nice trade there, buddy. Idiot. Oh, shit. Can you shoot the damn? Thank you. Hate those flame guys. I guess that was an okay trade. That was horrible. That was absolutely horrible, by the way. Whatever. I panicked a little bit there.
Love just one-shotting these guys. There's some creepy ass bastards. We gotta be a little bit closer than I'm anticipating with this damn hammer. I'll have to learn the different weapons. I tried to do it, but I was way too late on the dodge. Pissed off, pissed off, pissed off. Okay, fuck you. There we go. Those big guys still give me the most trouble out of all of them. Still want to explore this area a little bit, of course. I should probably just get my heel going. Nice. Ultra rare resource that has the power to take any weapon or armor and manifest it to its ultimate form at max level. It can also be used to enforce the dragon heart. So have you ever had one of those spawn there? Disaster. All right, I think we can progress forward now.
I will say I've been through this area once already. One per world, and there are for four worlds. Unless you do a reset, obviously. Oh shit. Damage over time. I love DOT. Love DOT. Nice dodge, buddy. Dragon heart to higher capacity or to max oh, level piece good. of gear. Uh, okay. And then you just reset a world and you can get another one of those on earth. Am I right or wrong? Now, I'm probably right because that wouldn't make any sense if you couldn't get more than four. Hit or miss for adventure modes. Oh, uh, one of these motherfuckers. Bastard, I didn't even press space. I didn't even press space there. And we were so close to the end, weren't we? Motherfucker. That's, I'm annoyed. Very annoyed right now. Now what? Two drop this time. <laughs> It would be better to, for me to use the heals, actually. That way we have, like, multiple heals on us, and we don't have to use our blood, or whatever it's called. I keep calling it blood, I don't think that's what it is. Sweet blood. I blame... I blame Dark Souls. Well, specifically Bloodborne. Or anytime I see something that you could drink that's red, I call it blood. The two Lizzies yet? Not sure if I have. The farthest I've made it was on this map on Earth to fight the dragon. I fought the splitting boss. Fought the dragon. Stay down. Possible side area that can generate on Earth. Ooh, fancy.
Oh, you bastard. Waves and keep them alive. Don't they will give you a key that will get you the Chicago typewriter. Okay, I do like that. That sounds unique. Kind of like how we had to keep the, um, the root mother alive. I assume this is a completely side area, right? Like this area is completely side and optional. Fuck you, fuck you! <sighs> Holy shit! Oh, it's over. That was close. Literally by a thread there. Those guys, those heavy guys, are literally my arch nemesis so far. This almost kind of reminds me of uh, the way these enemies are. They remind me a little bit about the Draugr from God of War a little bit. I was slamming space. I fucking slammed space. I just didn't dodge. God damn it. I'm mad at myself on that one. I really am. I had that in the bag and I panicked. I, why, why did I panic? I didn't need to panic. Let's get a little bit more health. How about that? Just a little bit. Here they come. I mean, I'm still happy about how I dealt with that one individual. I still do like how they what is that sound? I still do like how the enemies like don't spawn the exact same way every time. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, honestly. I was debating whether or not I want to do that now. A little bit of armor, maybe upgrades. Also, we can talk to the root mother. Mother. Really? So that's unlike Dark Souls. Those extra dragon hearts alone are very helpful. Yeah, yeah. I would have. Yeah, I do need to get my up my armor upgrade too. No, not B, base. Thinking about switching melee weapon too. Cause like I said, I fought the dragon twice, got two different things, a a heart from that thing, and something else, and I, I got both weapons with it. Keep moving. So we have a new guest. I gotta talk to everyone anyways. Hasn't said much. She stares right through you. Hopefully, we can make her feel welcome here. Ah, let's see what I've got. Need forged iron. Ooh, I can upgrade it now. I don't think I want to. So long. You're the one that upgrades stuff, I assume. Stranger into our oh sh There's no way bringing a human root hybrid into the ward could backfire on us. How are you? And being interrupted. What brought you to Ward 13? Not the conversation, that's for sure. You have any friends or family in the city? No, I'm actually great friends with this hammer. That fills my friend quota just fine. So I'd move along if I were you. Unless, of course, you'd like to get more acquainted with the hammer. Nope, sorry to bother yeah, you. Good. Now go, yeah? Let's trade. Right, let's have a look. How do you, how does one? Yeah, good. Now go. Keep moving. Upgrade the hearts. Yeah, I've been reading the, the, um, the lore books. I'm aware of who the root mother is. The grandmother of the current commander, I believe. We've made the root mother as comfortable as we could. She was closer to the root than anyone. Here's hoping she can help us. It's strange, though. She mm -hmm. moves through the ward yep. like she's been here before. I'll be keeping a close eye on her for now. We have no idea what to expect. I can't imagine things look great out there. Out by the trader. Yeah, I would figure that's where she'd be. I do like talking to everyone to hear what they have to say, though. That and scrap is scrap. So. 
I don't like Ace wandering around the city on her own. I fear one day she won't come back. Hello. How you doing? Okay, I guess. I keep thinking Mark will be around the corner. Pretty sure he did. Just doesn't feel right. Him being gone. Who Mark? He was my big brother. Yep. He was out there in that storm. He was outside the big door. We couldn't let him in with all the root there. I told him I dreamed he wouldn't come back. But he didn't listen. Oh. How long have you been at War 13? A few weeks. The commander found my brother and me. We got separated from our parents when the root attacked our home. Mark looked out for me when we were lost. I I don't know what to do now that he's gone. What are your dreams like? Sometimes it feels like I'm there with the root like it's happening right now I can I can feel them oh sometimes I see people get hurt and I know it hasn't happened yet I wish they would listen to me still having bad dreams yeah I, I try not to think about them take care Be careful out there made a chess set a while back it was great till Wallace took all the knights he said they went to fight the root. <laughs> what a weird kid. She did a better kid no voice than he's war, doing. Got it? Hey, word is you freed that root lady. Is that true? Yes. Man, she's got us all on edge. I'm keeping a close eye on her. Uh-huh. She, she may be a root spy and not even know it. I'll see you around. Well, let's go do the ring thing. Hello again. Hello. Hello there. General Kenobi. Ooh. Hello there, friend. Our new lady friend isn't too chatty. But I think she'll settle in just fine. That's nice. Folks are keeping the distance. She's got a other world feel about her. <laughs> I reckon she's wiser than all of us put together. Older, too. All right. Uh, I'll oblige you if I can. Oh, hey. Uh, not much to tell about old Reggie. My story is like so many out there. Loss, hunger, fear. How do we give him the ring? Providence. On my way here, for the last bastion of kindness and light, searching my life before this place is like reaching through an endless fog. I do remember a ring I wore once, my greatest treasure. Oh, well, there you go. The last remnant of an old tale, but it's lost now. Like so many memories. Tell me about. Hold on. Anything else you need? Is it your ring? That's the ward. I don't believe it. There's no shortage of miracles about you. Oh, happy day. Thank you. So what's the story of the ring? Uh, my, my darling Francis. Hmm. Gave it to Fran. She uh, she said, "Mama's spirit ain't heavy at all." Oh, when I lost Fran too, I wish the world would swallow me whole. Only thing that kept me was knowing that as long as I wore the ring, I, I carried them with me. And Fran was right. Their spirits ain't heavy at all. Thank you for telling me. Done me a world of good bringing them home to me. Keep carrying that light in the dark. 300 scrap. Scavenger. Are you okay? Pressure completed. Nice. Nice. Let's see what we got. Ring of the Admiral. 
Take care, friend. How about you? That uh root mother? She ain't all there, is she? Nah. Rambling on about constructs and dreamers. Oof. Well, anyway. The boy's a dreamer like though. Just like she used to be. Let's trade. And buy more iron. He can craft some iron. I wonder how we get galvanized iron. Hardened iron. I think it's always worth it just to buy the iron there because of how cheap that shit is. Yeah, whatever. Greetings, child. Creepy. You have arrived at last. I feel much more myself. And less no longer root no longer human it is age you seek a road you pursue you must find the one they call founder he alone knows the path you seek but to find him you must first open the labyrinth oh no what is a labyrinth it is a crossroad of many places the founder journeyed there beyond my sight I guided him to the labyrinth, as I guide you. Look to a great shimmering light in the sky. The path to its source is protected by a monstrous root creature. Sounds lovely. Slay the beast, seek the light beyond, and the keeper of the labyrinth will make himself known. Finally, or thank you. I will. One more boon I can offer to fight back against that which would erase us all. You carry a piece of the dragon's heart. There we I go. It. Make it stronger. The root is selfish with its strengths. But with this, you may stand a chance. Great forces are wielded among the worlds. But they need not be exclusive. Like to see what you can upgrade. This may help you on your journey. A thousand scrap by one. All right. Take care. The portent returns. Have you anything of the root for me? Ask. More questions. I have lost much since the war began, but I have gained much in return. Were you human once? Dreams only, faded and tattered. The founder, Andrew, and I were together before the root. Now the memory wanes. I bear its burden no longer. That is all for now. Very well. All right, we got the goodies. Tread carefully, child. Scavenger, scrap boost. Eh, not the best, not the worst. Still, money is money. I was expecting like actual loot drops, but that works too. I need to upgrade my armor, some of my weapons. I kind of want to mess around with the sword, but I'll keep the hammer a little bit longer. Anything you need? Certainly. I just want to I know it's only doing like 70 whatever but it's doing burning effect deals 160 fire damage over 10 seconds that's pretty damn good actually
Okay, so the adventurer's set, which you don't get a helmet for, looks like it's only a two-piece set. Full health, gain a regrowth stack every three seconds, which increases total outgoing melee and weapon mod damage. Stacks times 10, taking damage removes one stack, regenerate. Point. Oh, wow. That's pretty damn good. Need to buy all these. Same with these. I want to upgrade my base armor first, though, I think. Nice. Plus five. Can't really upgrade the weapons, unfortunately. Can't upgrade this SMG. Do I want to? I don't think I want to. I think I want to save it. So long. Now let's see how we do. The goal is to fight this boss, or get to the boss, I should say. See if we can beat it, and then go from there. If we can't beat it, that's fine. We'll just do it tomorrow. Uh, I will say I'm probably gonna do the same thing I did today. I'm gonna play XCOM 2, modded, for a bit. Um. And if we crash and I have to restart stream, I'll switch the remnant. Love those lucky luminite crystal drops from the, the weak enemies. I say weak in quotation marks. Press space qu quicker.
All right, nice. Take our time and do this this way. We're having a better time. We're not dying immediately. Also, I feel like we're taking less damage because of our armor upgrade, which we are, obviously. Obvious statement is obvious, but I feel like I need to tell myself that to remind myself, hey, sometimes it's better to stop and upgrade your shit. Getting lucky on the Luminite Crystals. Now where's the big boy? There he is. Too late, too early, I mean. Now, nope, too, too early. Big guy's annoying, not gonna lie. It's over. Oh, we got him finally. Man, you go through shotgun ammo so damn fast. It's ridiculous. Get over here. Well, basically ate that. Didn't want to, but I did. Because I was out of stamina. Definitely need to pay attention to our stamina more often. Hello. Goodbye. That feels good. We got all. We got all of them. We got all of them. Yeah, I barely remember this area because the group that I went through this area with just ran. They literally just ran through the entire area. Like I don't. I don't recall what was up here. Because we just booked it.
right, boss room's next. Shit. I'm trying to think of what will actually help me the most. I don't think the heal will. I actually don't think the heal will help me here. I think I need the armor. But what what should I do the armor with? That's very specific. I can just fire and forget kind of with this weapon. I do feel that this will help me the most, honestly. Question is... Do I want to go with this as well? Much faster. Alright. We're probably not gonna keep this sword on us. We'll probably switch back and forth. Bitch. That was bad. Yeah. It's funny you say that because I just thought of something great. I want him to split up. That's gonna kill me a lot because I need to I need to do it. I need to jump towards it. I need to jump towards it. Yeah. I'm like, what is that sound? What is it doing? Oh, it's healing. It's literally making all the damage that I did absolutely meaningless. Good to know. A sniper might actually help me more in this fight now that I'm thinking about it. Specifically, just target and fire, do more damage. Or be far enough away that it doesn't cover the whole arena. Yeah. Towards it, towards it, towards it. I always have to reteach myself that rule of it's better to dodge towards your enemies in these types of games. 
been so fast. Real quick, because I'm focus mode. Please stop stun locking me. I'm dead. He did it too many times. Yeah, that invincibility mod works wonders. I went over to the sniper rifle, but sniper rifle is too slow for that fight. That's for sure. I did much better. That's for sure. The hunting rifle might actually be what we could use. 10 size magazine. A little, it's double the shotgun speed. Half da way less than half damage though. Time's a charm. Probably not, but we'll see soon. Enough. The fourth heal definitely helped me out. Now what? Frenzy dust and adrenaline? Yeah, I probably should do that. You're not wrong. Oh, 
out, bitch. one of the most difficult bosses to solo yeah i think i can do it though i got I'm, I'm getting i'm getting pretty good okay i might need ammo we're gonna assign this to quick slot four though uh bandages will assign to three Frenzy dust. Two. Adrenaline. I only have one adrenaline. We can buy more, though. Eh, we'll, we'll stay with blood ward. It is blood. It is blood. Alright. If we have to, we will just use an ammo box. I haven't used a single melee, so that's fine. I could probably start off with melee. That was dumb. Don't try and trade. Again, don't try and trade. Don't try and trade. What are you doing? annoying. Can you Q please? Q please. It's just damn it. Oh, nice, nice.
got hit once. Got hit once. You did much better this time, though. I'm gonna do a couple more attempts and then probably end the stream because I'm starting to get tired. I should have used my ability, my immune ability, then. If I have to, um, tomorrow, if a couple attempts I have trouble with it, I'll open up the game and then have an assistant come along. This is a fucking good. It might be better to use immunity on the SMG because of how fast I can regenerate and fire on this gun. It almost does do the whole arena. That's not what I wanted to do. A heal might actually be what saves me now I'm thinking about it. Put heal on the SMG. I tried to sprint. Holy shit! Will you f- 
fucking fuck off! I almost, I was, I was getting close. Holy shit, it is definitely a hard boss to solo. I think I can do it though. I think I can, like, if I can melee when there's four people there, I think I'll be good. I'm, um... The distraction might work. The immunity saved my ass. If I wasn't in fire, I would have had a much better time. I think what I need to do... Is do something like that, or... Do that. Heal and immunity. Yeah, I think this is what we do. One more attempt. One more good attempt. I use one of my frenzies, unfortunately. If I have to, I'll go back and buy more. The bandages might not be useful. The ammo i should probably use the ammo instead of trying to go and pick up the boxes that are around on the ground we don't have fire rounds we don't have fire rounds we don't have fire rounds i'm telling myself that this is looking good Three is not happening.
The heals definitely helped us. I should have used my immunity. The only thing that I'm fucking up on is I'm not using my immunity and moments like that when I need to. It'll probably allow me to heal as I'm going immune. One more try. I think I got it this time. Let's not waste one of our heals right off the rip, though. Also, I, I keep messing up. Use the ammo boxes, man. That's all I need to do is just use the ammo boxes. I've gotten close on several occasions. Now what? Those little floor explosions are definitely going to help me out. Fucking slam in space, man. I'm getting pissed off about that one there. Because of fucking that right there. That's what fucked me up. Fighting this like a damn Dark Souls boss right now. Other don't hear each other.
Bonk. Alright. I'm, I'm probably tomorrow gonna have it open instead of offline. This is... I want to do it by myself so fucking badly, but I just can't I get to that point where there's eight of them, and it just starts to get overwhelming for me. But yeah, this was fun. This was a fun run. Uh, it was about a five hour stream tonight, aside from the crash. Tomorrow we're probably gonna try again our hand at XCOM 2. Modded run. And then tomorrow, oh no, that's tomorrow, that is tomorrow. And then after the XCOM 2 run, we'll probably switch over to this or something else. Probably this, because I'm having a great time with this game so far. But yeah, uh... Holy crap, man, we were so close. On a couple occasions. No, over the weekend, basically what I do over the weekends is I just join game. And I uh, browse public games, right? And go through, and I'm like, oh, th this person right here. And just go there, right? I love how I'm starting to see people with similar gear scores to mine. I love the question marks. Gotta love the question marks. Anyways. That, uh, that was a fun session. I know I haven't acknowledged YouTube. I do apologize for that, but I will say what I say always. I do thank you for stopping by and I do hope you enjoyed. Uh, basically, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or you head on out so you can always catch whatever I upload, be it a full stream VOD like this or anything else that catches my fancy. Uh, If you want to catch me when I go live, there's a link down in the description below that'll take you on over to my Twitch where you can follow me over there. And exclamation Discord will take you to... It'll send an invite link that you could use that'll bring you to the Discord where you get the most accurate notifications of when I go live. This game's awesome. It, it scratches the itch for Dark Souls. It's pretty aggressive. It's got a decent story. It's got great combat. Uh, it can be soloed. If I was playing this on a lower difficulty, I'd probably be able to solo that boss relatively easily. I do like the hunting rifle. Anyways, anyways. With all that said and done. Um, probably switch my submachine gun to the flame rifle. Or the flame machine gun or whatever. For those of you that are currently watching on Twitch, I do thank you for stopping by and I do hope you enjoyed your stay at the kingdom. And with all that said and done, that is going to be it from me. So, until next time, take care and have a good one. This is Keen Tombs 456, signing out. Bye bye.